Hello and welcome to my video on the eye. This is part of a playlist I'm putting together for AQA P3. This is the one for the medical application of physics. So the eye is relatively new to the physics syllabus. It may or may not be on the next syllabus and the first thing we need to know is what all the different parts of the eye are called. I will go into what they do in just a second but we need to start with naming them all. So, the bit that goes all the way around the edge is the retina. The big green bit in the here is the lens. The two parts either side of the lens are the suspensory ligaments. These two bits here, one either side, are the ciliary muscles. And another one down here. This bit here, that you can see where it just appears to be a gap, this is the pupil. This here is the iris. And all around the outside, you can see, is the cornea. So, what do all these different parts do? Well, the lens. The lens and the cornea together are responsible for focusing the light on the retina. The cornea is the window into the eye. It's got a convex shape and is does the most of the focusing. It focuses the light onto the retina, which is where all the light sensitive cells are, and this is what sends a signal to the brain. The pupil is the black bit that you can see in your eye, and that uh, lets all the light in. The iris is the coloured bit in your eye, and it controls the size of the pupil. And the suspensory ligaments connect the lens to the ciliary muscles. Now the ciliary muscles are rather important. They change the shape of the lens so the light can be focused. There are two different focal points that you need to be aware of. In normal people, the far point is normally infinity and the near point is about 25 centimetres. All light uh, needs to be focused on the retina so it can make an image. In When you're looking at far things, the ciliary muscles are relaxed and produce a thin, not very powerful lens. When you're looking at near things, the ciliary muscles contracted, producing a fat, powerful lens. And here is Primrose to be helpful. You also need to know uh, the difference between the eye and a camera uh, when we're talking about making images and processing light. So both the eye and a camera produce a real image. Both the eye and the camera produce an inverted image, but in our eye it's very cleverly flipped upside down by our brain. Both the eye and the camera produce small images. The eye has the lens and the cornea for focusing, the camera just has the lens for focusing. And the difference is that I has the retina for the image to be projected onto, where the camera is on a film or a CCD in a digital camera. So those are all the facts that you need to know. What we want you to do now is to pause and try to name these for yourself. So this is exactly the same image that you had before. I've just labelled all the different parts, A through to H. What I want you to do is pause and try and label these for yourself. Once you've done that, these are the answers. So, A is your retina, B are your ciliary muscles, C is the iris, D is the cornea, E is the pupil, F is the ciliary muscle again, G is the lens, and H is the suspensory ligaments. There are the answers for you again. Okay, now some more questions. What I want you to do is pause and try this for yourself. There are five questions for you. Where are the light sensitive cells? 
which two bits are responsible for focusing light, which part of the eye is like a film in a camera, what happens to the lens when the slurry muscles are contracted, and what is the pupil? What you do is pause and try and answer these five questions for yourself. So hopefully you've done that now. Here are your answers. So, what are the light sensitive parts? Where are the light sensitive cells? They are in the retina. Which two bits are responsible for focusing light? The cornea and the lens. Which part of the eye is like the film in a camera? That is the retina. What happens to the lens when the ciliary muscles are contracted? They are fat and powerful. And what is the pupil? That is the black hole in the middle of the eye that lets light in. There are the answers for you. So, next time. Next time is really up to you. I'm going to work as hard as I can to get through P3, but I'm sure there are bits in P2 and P1 that you want going over. So, just let me know and I will do my best to do them for you.